celebrate the 15th anniversary, we're reminded how far we've come in such a short amount of time and what the impact has been to the region. There's still so much more to be done to ensure that all students have access to the arts. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about the growth of ArtsBridge because I feel like the program has endless abilities, right? So one of the great things that we've done thus far that I see continuing, hopefully across the state, is our outreach program. You know, the world has evolved and as the world evolves, we evolve our programming with it. Well, I became involved with ArtsBridge first back in 2006 when I was hired as one of the first four people to help get this building open. ArtsBridge has grown phenomenally over the last 15 years. Seeing its birth back in 2007, 8, and 9 to where it is today has been really gratifying to see the growth of both the number of programs that ArtsBridge does, the growth of the Schuler Awards, and the intentional effort to reach out to more underserved kids to provide them with the arts education has been really inspiring. is thrilled to be partnering with ArtsBridge. Uh, I actually met Jennifer earlier this year. We were both attending a function in Atlanta and she started telling me a little bit about ArtsBridge and she was so passionate about the arts and about the students and about the impact that they were having in the community and Amazon just had to be a part of it. So this is our first year. Uh, it has been eventful and fulfilling and um, again we're just thrilled to be partnering with ArtsBridge. I think the foundation has had an impact on school systems, especially in the state of Georgia, because it reinforces the value of arts education. It's not just an asset anymore, it's necessary. So one of my favorite memories is of a student who attended our Dance Leader Harlem field trip and uh, he came with a school, which is a Title I school, which was funded by our financial aid subsidy program. He, along with some other students, were invited to go on the stage, and what he did impressed Dance Theater of Harlem so much that the director of the Dance Theater of Harlem came out and offered him a unique opportunity to participate in a summer camp in New York City with the Dance Theater of Harlem. And that's why we do what we do here at ArtsBridge. We want to ensure that every student has access to arts experiences. ArtsBridge plays a tremendous role in our homeschool community. Without ArtsBridge and matinees like this, we would have no opportunity other than full-time shows for entertaining and educating our children on art. I hope within the next 15 years, we are considered the best arts education organization within the state of Georgia and the Southeast and have created the benchmark for others to strive. My hope for the foundation in the next 15 years is that it is stronger, that we are opening up to not just Metro Atlanta and we can just reach kids all over the world. Even when we were with COVID and we had some virtual type things, that we can just expose kids and enroll them in the arts and let them see that the impossible is possible. Dream big, if you can see it, you can achieve it.